In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your conversion table and clean it up so that you can have a proper structure. So earlier I created this document and I structured it by using a conversion table. Here's the conversion table that was generated. There's a lot of work that needs to be done in here, but one of the first things you want to do is add a root element. I'm going to go ahead and type in here RE colon root element and I can call this whatever I want. In this case I'm just going to call this fighter bomber or even better yet if this was a chapter book I might want to call this chapter. From here I'm going to save this document and come back into my document and reapply the structure. When I go to my elements again I'll see that I no longer have that red and this document will validate except these tables are kinda of messed up because conversion tables don't have enough information to make this a valid table. So in order to correct that, we can go ahead and borrow some of the code from another document. Something I'm going to do before I continue is I'm going to change my interface a little bit. I'm going to fly out these panels here and move my structured view over here to the right. It's a lot easier to see things when these are side by side. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and fix this up. So I have this other conversion table with a whole lot of table elements. I'm going to go ahead and copy these into my current conversion table. I'll just need to add a whole bunch of rows there and then I can paste that table data in there. This was table uh, conversion table data that I pulled from the project I've already made. I can take this existing table stuff, the crappy stuff that the conversion table gets generated automatically and I can go ahead and take these rows and delete them, remove them from my table. So now I have this finished. I'm going to go ahead and save this conversion table, go back to my fighter document and I can restructure this document Make sure you pick the right one. Hit Add Structure. And when I come in here, look at this. Beautiful. It's converted my table effectively with these new tables that I installed over here in the conversion table. This is going to be essential, especially if you're working on existing documents that aren't structured. If you don't have a conversion table, you're basically going to have to build, rebuild these documents from scratch. So a conversion table is going to be essential. You can learn more about building conversion tables by reading the Structured Application Development Guide that Adobe provides or by taking one of our classes at lumenbright.com.